Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back on my noob's guide for Demon Souls. And today, we are going to go get the Blue Blood Sword finally, which will be our main weapon. And we've been working towards that. The weapon's awesome, and it's kind of OP, to be honest. Now, real quick, I do want to talk about something, and that is should you pop any of these, like, boss souls? Well, the thing is, is that. If you're trying to just play on, like, one character, for example, you can get all the trophies, if that's what you want, by playing multiple times, going through, like, the New Game Plus modes, and getting, like, extra copies of the boss souls so that you can make spells with them. That's kind of the key. You can make spells, and you need all the spells, basically, to get all the trophies. Now, if you don't care about that, you can pop some of these. You want to keep the pure blood. This is important for the blue blood sword, but, like, this one, we don't need that. Same with this one, we don't need it. So because of that, I just got like 46,000 more souls, and now I can level up more. Alright, so, you know, here's the deal. You do want to get your luck up to 18 for the blue, not 18, you want to get it up to 25 for the blue blood sword. To get like the best damage out of it, I mean, you could get way more damage out of it if you get your luck up to like 50, but 25 is good enough for one playthrough. You can also get your endurance up a little bit because this will be important, you know. Like, I know it kind of sucks having low endurance. But same with, like, vitality. Having vitality is super nice. So this is what I'm going to do. 20 vitality, 13 luck for now. And we can basically go and fight this boss. Now, this boss we're about to fight is considered to be one of the hardest in the game. And I would agree with that for the most part just because he's crazy. I mean, that's the truth. Like, he, he's wild. His movements can be crazy. I hate him sometimes. But he's also not that bad if you follow this little strategy I'm about to show. Now, first things first, when we come to the Tunneled City, World 2-2, go to the right. There's a guy right there. Let him swing, and then just run for it through this tunnel. There's a lot of stuff to do here. This is a long area. But I'm going to take this shortcut down to the boss just so I can go get the blue blood sword right away. You don't need to do this if you don't want to. You can actually go through the area first, but that's up to you. So you want to hop down here. Take your time with this. Hop down to this ledge and then hop down over here. Take your time. And there you go. Now you have a choice here. Do you want to hop down and get these lizards? There's two of them down there. Now, they're going to respawn multiple times, so you might have to come down here multiple times if you want to get all the rewards from them. Or do we want to go get these items? I'm going to go get these items real quick just to get out the way, so let's hop down. Also, by the way, I would say, throw on the Thief's Ring. There's going to be another lizard coming up here. And, uh, yeah. Like, basically, the Thief's Ring is going to make that easier for us. Grab that. Now, if we walk over here, we can... Uh, this is annoying, by the way. You can kind of hop down here, walk forward a little bit, turn, pick up this item, and there we go. Now, once we're down here, you can't go back up there where the lizards are. That's why you have to make the choice. So walk off the ledge, and then right here, we can walk off again. Turn around when you get down here. Walk this way. Walk this way. The lizard's coming up, and you can see them down there. But yeah, you want to turn around, hop down. You, can, you have more than enough time to grab the item if you have the thieves ring on. The lizard can see you from up top, so a lot of times the lizard might just get away right away. And we can go ahead and finish off the lizard. Now, while you're down here, look for the exit. Okay, there it is. And let's throw on our ring again, because we're going to need that for extra health. And get ready just to run. Run for the door. There's going to be those guys. Now, with magic, those guys are not that bad. So let me show you. There's an item over here, and if you have soul arrow probably still do you can actually trigger these guys aim for their eyeball well it's not their eyeball i don't know what the hell it is their ass whatever the hell that is for worms aim for that and there we go let him come out here's the thing don't try to melee these guys ever like the th now a lot of worms you can melee no problem but these three mm -mm, don't do it you will die that stupid fire attack they have is so annoying but the item right there is the hands of god it's a fist weapon i think it's totally garbage but you know here's the deal though there's a trophy for defeating the final boss of this area using that weapon now it's easy to get the trophy because all you have to do is weaken the boss and then when the boss is really weak you can equip that and then finish off the boss so that's what i would recommend now this boss we're about to fight magic actually with like the range magic 
can be good at the end of the fight. The problem with this boss, in my opinion, is that at the end of the fight, I feel like he gets crazy. Like, he, he be, is programmed to go crazy. And he will, he will be all over you. And it's going to mess up the strategy I'm about to show. Because the strategy I'm going to show, honestly, makes him a little bit easier. And you have two options here. One is what I'm going to try to do. Which I'm going to try to let him do an AoE attack. And, or a jump attack. Then I can run in and smack him with a run attack. And then I back off again and repeat over and over again and it will be very easy until the end where he goes crazy and the other option is to block him and then when you get a good opening as you circle around him you just kind of do either like a heavy attack or just do a light attack and then you just keep repeating that let your stamina come back each time having higher endurance though that would be better that would be better with this shield the my endurance is so bad that it kind of sucks all right Let's go ahead and try the strategy. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment about the whole running in thing. Unlocking for this fight can be kind of a good idea. So that's an AoE. We can run in, smack him. Now basically our strategy is back off, let him do it again, smack him. He's always going to be jumping backwards too, by the way. He's super annoying. He has a jump attack. Watch out for that. Okay, there it is. AoE attack, run in, smack him, and try to get away. But you want to keep about this distance from him. That way you have more than enough time to run in and actually like do the attack. So there you go again. Boom. And we're just going to keep doing this. And if he gets crazy at the end, we're going to just use magic on him to try to finish him off maybe. He's weak to magic. Okay, that's a jump attack. A lot of times that's going to hit you but not going to really damage you. But it will stun you. If you can avoid it, you can get a free hit off. Watch out for the quick punch. The quick punch will hit you a lot. And it's not going to do that much damage, but it can be annoying. All right, come on. Do one of your AoEs. There you go. You got to have some distance, though. Otherwise, that AoE will hit you. All right, come on. Again, there's the jump. Roll through it. You can probably roll and then smack him like that. All right, that might be too far, but I'll go for it. All right, come on, buddy. What are you going to do now? He might start getting crazy here in a second. Ah! Back it up. Hit, and if he hits you with his, like, back step, it will do a little damage. Jump. He totally missed. Ah! You can always lock on last second, by the way. That's always an option. Oh, God! Oh, God. See, now he's going crazy. Now he's going crazy. See what I'm saying? He's on me like that. And he's just slamming, slamming, but it don't matter. Finish him off. So that strategy works pretty good, in my opinion. You have to get used to being unlocked and, like, trying to run in to do the running attacks. But if you can pull that off, it really makes that fight a cakewalk. Even at lower levels, it can be a cakewalk. All right. Now we're done with that. And I'm going to quickly go ahead and grab... That's what we need. And let's go ahead and immediately teleport to the smithing grounds. Because you have to have... that. It's weird. You have to have that soul in your inventory for this. And by the way, we have the pure white status. Let's check to see. It's, yeah, the lizard's back. Let's go get this lizard real quick. I need to upgrade this shield, too. Like, I can probably upgrade it. I just need to buy a couple. Well, I guess I guess I can. I'm going to have to buy 10 hardstone shards from this guy. Let me do that real quick. I'm blind. There we go. Let's buy 10. And now let's go ahead and come down to where that blacksmith was. I don't know. Yeah, you do have to have the broken sword in your inventory. Now, I've heard people complain about this, but all you have to do is talk to him, and now talk to him, now talk to him, and talk to him. And when he starts repeating himself like that, where, look, it's always the same, leave the conversation, and now talk to him again, and he's going to ask you to give him, like, this soul. So, you say yes, and now he can make boss weapons, and he can upgrade certain types of weapons for you. So... We want to select the broken sword. Oops. And then we want to go ahead and turn this in. Oh. Oh, man. I almost undid it. Oops. That would have been a disaster. I don't know what happened there. It was like turbo or something on my controller. But now we have the sword. So that's what we wanted. And let's go ahead and put that on now. And with the sword, we actually might be able to... Nah, not yet. Not quite yet. I was going to say, maybe we can actually change the armor. I guess this sword's not that light. But basically, this sword is awesome because it's a straight sword, and it's got an amazing moveset. Straight swords always got great moves. 
Very fast, okay? The heavy attacks when you're one-handing are these thrusts, and they're super good. Also, like, two-handing, I mean, this is very good, too. And you can also do, you can basically do, like, stuff like that. That works good, which is, like, a light attack into heavy attacks. Very good. Also, this straight sword has really good range on it. Like, look how long it is. And that helps a lot, too, because the range will make a difference. All right. Now, let's go ahead and empty out our inventory because we're going to need, like, a lot of space here. And let's go ahead and do that. So, let me look. I got some souls to use, but get rid of all... Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, it don't matter. So, get rid of all of this. All right. Anything else? This, this, this. If you want to try to get that trophy, though, remember to keep at least one of the hands of God. I don't think you have to have both of them equipped. Let's talk to Blacksmith, and we're going to upgrade the shield. Yep, we can do the shield now yeah i guess we could do it again we just need again more heart hearthstone which sucks man it sucks but uh at this point another thing we're gonna go do is actually come over here to the sorcerer guy let's talk to him and we want to learn magic and we want to get enchant weapon and let's tune that on right now as well okay so now we can actually buff our weapon we need to put our catalyst actually on our left hand to do that though and let me pop these souls I have. So boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna try to level up again. All right. Let's see. You can see the damage. Look at look at how much damage that gets. It's three every time you level up block. That's crazy, right? I mean, still though, that's a good amount of like AR attack rating. Three oh uh, three oh one. That's really good. Like uh, for this part of the game, at least. Plus, the AR is going to go up higher because we're able to buff this weapon. Now, let me think about this. I guess, you know what, I'm going to go back. Actually, first things first, let me go kill myself because I don't want to lose the pure white status. All right, don't want to lose that at all. And I would recommend the same. But let's go fight that final boss real quick. He's going to be worth a lot of souls. So let's go and do that. And then I'll probably finish 2-2. And I might even start, like, 4-1. Because we want to go to World 4 next. Every time you do this, by the way, make sure to try to line this up. And maybe you can actually land on this. Ah! Okay, guess not. Alrighty. Well, let's go fight this, like, final boss of this area. We'll come back and actually get the rest of the stuff in 2-2 in a minute. But... Here's the deal about this boss. This boss is a super gimmick boss. And you have to hide from the boss behind pillars. If the boss sees you, his eyes will go red and you'll probably die. If he doesn't see you, it will be yellow. You have to wait for the boss to turn his head before you try to run. Otherwise, he's going to see you. So that's the gimmick. You have to hide from the boss. At the end, you can finish the boss off. And if you want to get the trophy, you can use the hands of God. That's up to you. Now... Because we have pure white status, and this is why you gotta, like, go and kill yourself to make sure that you're hollow. Because this boss might get you. He might kill you a couple times. I don't recommend killing this lizard in the beginning. And I don't recommend going to go get the weapon right away. I mean, technically, yes, you could go get it right away. And then if you die, you can do what I'm gonna show you now. But I recommend just going for it, right? Because it's something I've noticed. Whenever I just go for it right away... I won't mess up in the beginning, but if I actually take the time to kill the lizard, grab the weapon, I'll probably die. So, first things first, once we get inside, we're going to run to the right. You want to two-hand your weapon for this as well. There's going to be some, like, debris. We need to break the debris by attacking it. And then I'm going to show you the first pillar you got to hide behind. Okay, let's do this. There's no cutscene. So, just immediately run and then go to the right. Break this thing that's here. Okay, go to the right. Break this. Boom. This is the first pillar right here. Hi. Now, he won't see us. The eyes are yellow. We're going to wait for him to turn his head to the left. And then we're going to run for it. We're going to break that debris there and just keep going. You might even want to roll a little bit if you feel like you need to. All right, he's turning. And it's time to go. So, boom, boom. Run. Keep going. And easy peasy got past the first part. And you can pick up this item here. And we can hit the switch on this. It's going to shoot this harpoon at him. And it's a shame. This is definitely the coolest boss in the game. And unfortunately, this is what it is. Now this part, grab this item. 
but we're gonna actually run past the first two bits here. So immediately, as long as you're fast, you should have no problem. Break that, and break that, and we can even come here, to be honest. Break this, and hide right here. Ah, no, I lied! Ah! Okay. Let's try that again. Don't be a dumb dumb like me. You want to just get the first two there. That second part's really easy to be honest, but if you do it the way I'm gonna tell you to do it and not be stupid like I was there, then it will work fine. All right, again, same thing. Don't get the weapon, don't get the lizard. Just run for it right away. And let's get on this, break it, get behind the thing and chill. All right. Now, again, we're going to wait for him to turn his head, and then we're going to run for it. And you might want to roll. You know, I said that before, but I mean it, actually. Just to kind of go faster. All right. He turns. We run. Ah, and I'm rolling. We're rolling out. That's why you got to roll. <laughs> you never know. All right. Let's pop one of these. And actually, let me heal up. You're safe. Oh, man. I didn't want to waste that. Oops. You're safe right here, by the way. When you're on this side, you're totally safe. All right. Go ahead and skip that. And now this time, I'm just going to go right away. I don't have to grab the stupid item, which is good. So let's go ahead and break this. Run here. Break this one. And yeah, now we're waiting. Now we're going to wait. So basically, we're waiting for his head to turn to the right. So now he's looking to the left. My left. Yeah, his left. It's our right. Whatever. But he's looking to his left. Now he's turning back around, and now we can go and break this one. Okay. Now this time, we're going to chill here until he looks back to his left again. And then when he does that, we can go for it. See, this is where I messed up the strategy. I forgot. All right. So just chill. This is going to This takes a minute. All right. He turns. We go. And now just keep going. Just don't stop. So break that. Run up the steps. Basically, once you hit like this, I think you're safe. Yeah, see, he's doing the fire, but it won't hit us there. There is a lizard coming up here, so let's get this lizard. Take him out. Thank you. And time to finish him off. Well, this isn't going to kill him, but the fight is basically over at this point. You can still die, though. It is possible. And if you're trying to do, like, the Hands of God trophy, you can actually get killed trying that all right so walk off here and there's another item we can grab so let's do that if you want to farm the lizards like i said you can literally just keep teleporting back here and just keep getting them all right so here's that item i was talking about grab that and basically if you're going for the trophy you want to weaken him and then go for it and what you have to watch out for is his basically his mouth whenever he's like breathing fire a little bit that's when he can get you. And like, yeah, about that health, maybe you could try to go for the uh, trophy if you wanted to. It takes forever. Like, that weapon does, like, no damage, seriously. But, boom. Dead. Easy peasy. It's a gimmick. A super gimmick, but whatever. And we are pretty much done with this world. Let me... Uh, I guess I'll go kill myself again. Oh, well, I gotta get the weapon, too. I almost forgot about that. But I am going to go kill myself again real quick. And I guess we could also level up. Let's pop that. And where is the lady at? Hey, lady. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to level up endurance some. Finally. Just because I've been slacking on that. And let's see. I doubt I'm going to be able to actually equip. Yeah, I still need a couple more levels before I can equip that. All right. To be honest with you, again, if you want to pop this soul, you could. I'm probably going to pop it. But if you're trying to go for the trophies, like, that's the thing. Like, you really don't want to pop it. Because, yeah. But since I just popped it, let me go level up again. You need that soul to make, like, multiple spells, to be honest with you. All right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah. One level, I'll just go for luck. Why not? All right. So now... I'm gonna go and kill myself and then we'll go back to world 2 2 and we'll basically clear that up and grab everything there and like I said I might actually start world 4 1 in this I'm, I'm gonna try to make this episode long I know I've been slacking about uploading guys I'm sorry 
I've just been like not in a very good place at the moment so you know I'm just trying to find the time and everything all right so killed ourselves let's recover our souls and then we can go ahead and go to 2-2 and clear that up well actually no first thing I'm gonna do is go to I'm gonna go back to where that dragon was because I want to go get the stuff the pure white stuff so let's do that real quick we're gonna go to the underground temple and then we'll head back all right so there's gonna be a lizard to the left I kept talking about him but now you actually can see him and basically I'm pretty sure this lizard's not bad like you gotta understand, like, the lizards are gonna be dropping certain things. Like, that second lizard is gonna be dropping a lot of clear stone. We don't need clear stone. That's for quality weapon stuff. If you were doing quality weapons, you would definitely want to farm him. This one, though, I believe does drop, like, some hard stone. And hard stone is something we're using to upgrade our shield, so... This one might be worth it. Oh my god, how many times can I bounce off the wall? Grab that. And pull this out. So, we definitely want that. That's a great weapon if you have a strength build. So, that's cool. And let me think. Uh, anything else? I mean, I could go get that lizard again, the other one. But, I, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Instead, I'm just going to go back and we can now go to 2-2. Two -two. Now, if you remember that little drop-off spot where we dropped off and we uh, were able to kill those lizards. Like, to make... To, basically, it was the shortcut to come down here to fight this boss. If you take that shortcut, you can actually do the pure white event here. So that is something. All right, back to world 2-2. And instead of going down that way right away, I guess I'll clear this area first. So it's going to be this lizard here. Let me buff this. Look how little MP that takes to buff that weapon. That's insane. And take him out. All right, give me that awesome stuff. I mean, I should one-shot these guys. Yep. Watch out here for these, like, stupid carts. If you just run, just run straight through, they will miss you every single time. So that's really not going to be a problem. Okay, and if we come over this way, there's this fat guy here. Watch out. Easily get behind him. Take him out. All right. And instead of taking the elevator down, I'm going to actually go this other way because there's items to grab. So I think I've been through here before. But there is a guy in here. Watch out for him. Just do so. Remember, your heavy attack with this thing is great. Like, that power attack with that thrust is so good with this weapon. I love this weapon. This weapon is just amazing. All right, watch out for this guy. Let's thrust his face. Ah! Okay. Thrust his face. Ah! Come on. Ah! God damn it. Okay. You know... Maybe having a little bit more magic or intelligence to equip the second spell would have been nice Because then I don't have to deal with this garbage All right, you know what? Don't even aim for their faces like just aim for their bodies This thing does enough magic damage that you should be able to kill them by hitting them in the body. No problem All right, so Have I been here? I think I did come through here before once so I think I already grabbed most of this items But you know kill the lizard if you want to get him Come over here. There's gonna be this guy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just aim for the body. No problem. All right, so we're gonna hop down here. This is a little risky, to be honest, with gravity, but just some items down here. Not needed, though. I'm pretty sure this is Grace. Yeah, it's Graystone. Graystone is what you use to level up the crushing variant, the strength variant of weapons. So if you're leveling this stuff up and you're going for strength weapons, then you wanna get Graystone. But if you're not, then it's po kind of pointless to even come down this way. But whatever. So hop down here. Let's pick this up. And, of course, we're overweight now. And I'm going to buff up my weapon again. And basically, all these enemies here are super strong to physical damage. They are ridiculously strong to physical. But they are extremely weak to magic. So this weapon with this buff is insane, as you can see. Okay. Let's go ahead and kill this big fat boy over here now. These guys are extremely strong. Extremely strong to physical. Like, to be honest, that's the fastest I think I've ever killed one of them before. I'm... Ow. Watch out for the explosion. I'm serious. Like, I don't... Normally, even with, like, other weapons, it takes me forever to kill them. 
But we can come over here and grab this item. And now we can actually come over this way. Now, by the way, there's going to be a part here where there's like a fire, like pit. Do not, and I repeat, do not try to get the items in there. They're kind of pointless. And yeah, it's just stupid. Like, it, it's dumb. And you're going to die. Okay, so you have two options here. One, he's going to try to trick you like he always does. And you're going to have to kill this thing. But if you do decide to do that, like, he is going to be safe. You see, like, on higher difficulties, what's going to happen is, if you actually sat here and killed this thing, he would die. Like, if you're on, like, New Game Plus something, or if this world is pure black, Patches will literally die right here if you kill this thing up here. If you actually let him trap it, though, he won't die. Because watch. It's going to blow his ass up. <laughs> but look at his health. I mean, he basically almost got killed there. And, yeah, we talked to him. I mean, he's going to go back to the Nexus now. And that's that. He doesn't... I don't think he gives you anything if he tricks you and then you get out. It's up to you on how you want to do it. I mean, you can always let yourself be trapped. If you have this weapon, you're going to literally clear this enemy so fast. There is an item up here. Let's grab that. And let's go ahead and come on over here. And we can also grab this. Awesome. I think there's one more thing up here. There actually is a lizard in this area, too, that we can deal with. All right, let's pick this up. And, yeah, hop on down. There we go. All right, so let's keep going down this way. So, I mean, actually, you could go other ways, but I'm going to choose to go this way, because why not? All right, take out all these guys. The lizard might get away from me. But yeah, these guys are really annoying too, just like the other three I talked about. But with this weapon, it's a joke. Here's the lizard down this way, so let's take him out real quick. Grab his items. Now that hobo guy, the one who sells the hard shards, he actually, if you come to him here in 2-2, he will sell large versions of those shards. So if you need more large versions of those shards, you can always come here to get them. Alright, so let's come over here. And I want to go get this item down here. And I could kill this fat thing as well. So pick that up. And let's go kill the fat thing. That little fat thing. Come on. Stamina. Come back. There we go. Let's back away from him though. Before he explodes. I've been hit now like three times by these explosions. He will drop something. So let's go pick that up. And there is an item here at the end. And there's also going to be some items that will be actually... If we drop down, there's like one at least, maybe two. So, yeah, let's go get this. Ah, there we go. Boom. And now we can kind of... We want to go up. Okay, so come this way. And, yeah, just walk off right here. And you'll land on this platform. Grab this item here. This is actually a decent shield, to be honest with you. It's not bad. And we can hop on down. This is the hobo I was talking about. If you want to buy, like, large shards from him, you can. I'm not going to do that, though. And let's actually come down this way right now. So, basically, there's going to be a lot of stuff down here. Now, I'm going to actually go ahead and recover my magic. To recover your magic, you have to use a spice. So, I'm just going to use one of these aged spices. Why not? We'll buy more later. And, out. Take him out. And I'm going to save the buff, though, for, like, these big, fat dudes. Like, their, their defense is so ridiculous that... You definitely want to maybe have like your weapon buff just to get him out the way faster so you don't have to waste a lot of time all right take him out and god these guys are dropping a ton of these that's how you farm the gray stone though is that you farm the worms and you will get a ton of stuff all right so this is i hate this part because it's super confusing this dumb tunnel but basically you want to turn to the right there's an item here and then turn back around and you're going to come down this way, and there's going to be one of these fat things blocking you. Where if you try to come down here with just a physical weapon, man, you are going to be here for so long. It's crazy. You just do no damage at all. But with this thing, we'll be able to take him out, no problem. Alright, one more hit. Bouncing off this stupid thing. But now, yeah, run away, and we will hang out over here. 
And they are worth decent souls, though. 1,600 is not bad at all. So let's go ahead and pick this up. And let's also come on over here. And I'm going to go this way and take this dude out. Ah, big fat boy. Stamina, come back. I don't even think they attack, to be honest. I think they just stand. I mean, he is attacking, but he's missing every attack. And let him blow up now. Let's come on back. Grab this. And I'm going to go this way real quick just to try to remember what's over here. If there is anything over here. Okay, all right, so this is important. Run past this, take the lizards out first. Get these lizards gone. Then we can kill the fat dude if you want. But let's just grab all the stuff first. So grab all these items. Now let's take out fat boy. He's kind of small fat boy though. I'm gonna buff up again. All right, so back to it. There we go. Goodbye. Now... If you remember the shortcut we took where we hopped down, like that little shortcut, like you can basically get to that part from going this way. You can tell the way you know you're going the right way if you're ever in these tunnels, like to get to the boss, for example, is this wood stuff. When you see the wood stuff, you know you're in the right spot. All right, so this place out here is kind of a nightmare, to be honest with you. There is items out in the lava. Like I said before, do not go and grab them. It's not worth it. You're gonna die. That's just the reality. But that is how you can get, like, the pure stone for upgrading the fire path. I think it's the dragon stones. You can get the pure dragon stone out there. So if you're making, like, a fire weapon build, you will have to go out there to get that. But that's the only time I would ever really recommend going out there. I mean, it's just not worth it. You're probably gonna die. There's a lot of these fat dudes out here, too. So I'm not gonna waste my time fighting all of them. But that little tunnel on the left that I took, I went there just to grab that one item. And coming up over here, now, to be honest with you, this is another one of those, like, early game weapons, which it's not super early game, but this is actually a fairly good weapon over here. Especially if you were just, like, you know, just starting. Like, that's a decent weapon, that dragon longsword. It's a fire, like, longsword, but, you know, the straight swords are great weapons. They just have some of the best moves, like, literally... All right, watch out for those things that are glowing. They blow up. And there is an item over here. Ah, out of my way. Let's grab this. Now, we also need to make our way back to, like like I said, the, uh, the tunnel, which the, is the correct way. So let's come down this way real quick. I think this is going to take us back. No, it's not. We have to run back out into the lava. Now the fat boys are going to be out there blocking my way. Are they? Uh, run for it now i could be missing something here i'm gonna be honest it's very possible obviously i'm missing the things in the lava but yeah run to the opposite way all the way to the opposite way that's the right way and this is where we have to go but i could be missing something and i'm gonna be honest i don't care it's honestly anything that's down here that i missed is probably nothing important anyway so i'm just saying but yeah, so we're going to run over here. And now the reason why we're doing this is because earlier, like, we could have grabbed these items that you can get over here. But yeah, I didn't. So let me go grab these real quick. So I'm going to buff, hop down, kill these stupid guys. All right, out of my way. All right, you too. Goodbye. And by the way, when the world is pure white, the enemies are a lot weaker. So keep that in mind. So this is, a, like, a lot easier because the world is white. All right, so let's go ahead and climb up. And we will keep climbing up. And there's going to be an item that we can grab. I think there's a couple because th you see that one over there. I think you have to hop off, though, to get that one. So we will do that. Just have to find, we have to find the right part to actually hop off. Yeah, it's right here. What am I talking about? It's easy. All right, pick that up. And I believe if we climb up, I think that's... This is basically the way that you get back. To that top part so if you wanted to go back that way that's how you get back up there and you know what really sucks like basically that little part down there like i remember the first time i ever found that part like this is back like on the ps3 days i thought that was death like you know i, I thought it was gravity so i was not trying to like risk that all right so basically that is most of the items well i actually i would say that's like all the main things from 2-2 that you can get and that's me going through pretty quickly, to be honest. 
But now, we're gonna go do the pure white event. And I guess we can go do the pure black event as well. So I'm gonna show you that. So basically, what to do the to do both of these events, because that's what we that's what we wanna do. That's what I want to show at least, is how to do both. Oh, I did mess up. I just thought about something. There is a couple more things to get. Let me let me go do that real quick. So if you remember, there's like all these lizards. Well, you can go farm them if you want. I'm gonna actually kill this fat guy again. But also, there's a tunnel that you can go down. There's a couple items in that tunnel, so I'm gonna go get that. Then I'll come back and do the pure white thing. So, ah, give me that item. I want that for sure. So let's go on down. And now we can go and grab that stuff. You know what? I'll probably save World 4 for the next episode. I'll probably do all the parts, though, in World 4 in the next episode. I was thinking about starting it because, see, in World 4, it's important because... Like, that's how we're going to get a certain spell that's really, really good. We definitely want that spell. Alright, so there's the two lizards here. Take them out. The Thief's Ring is great for this spot, so let's just put that on now. So, let me see. There we go. And we also do want to buff our weapon. We want to try to kill these lizards as fast as possible. That great sword I was using, Demon Brand, it's just too slow, honestly, to deal with these lizards. Like, this is so much better and faster it's gonna kill him super good. Boom, boom. Don't pick up any of this stuff. Just wait on that. Come down this way. Take him out. Come down over here. Take him out. Let's try to find one that we can get. So this guy, boom. And this one too. So see, that's 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 a lot better. Like that's way more efficient than like before. Cause like, look, I got like five kills there, no problem. Pick up all the stuff. And let me double check. Just to make sure I got this one item. Yeah, I did. Okay. There was like the pure stones over there. I just couldn't remember, to be honest with you. Alright, so now we're going to come over here. And there's a tunnel. And we're going to go down the tunnel only because there is a couple items to grab there. And I forgot to grab them. I, my plan actually was to, like, come back this way. And then maybe take the elevator to go back up. But I forgot. Okay. So, whoa, watch out. That's death on the left. <laughs> Don't not go that way. Total gravity. There's also an exploding thing, so just keep running here. Do not stop. And that's going to blow up. Now, watch out over here. There's going to be a guy. He's waiting to ambush you, so just go ahead and take him out. And here are those two items I was talking about. Pointless clear stone, and that's good, though. The hard stone I definitely want. 100% because I want it for my shield. Which, at this point... This would be a good time to maybe consider trying to upgrade the shield almost all the way. Because if you wanted to farm those lizards, I just showed you how easy it is to basically like do that. Where you can take them out. They're going to have, because we've beaten the area, they're going to have a lot of lives. So you can just keep doing it over and over again. And you will get a ton of hard stone. And you can easily upgrade your weapon with that. Alright, so let's put that back on. And now we're going to go do the pure white event. And then, like I said, I'll, I'll actually will show you, like, pure black here, too. Because that's good. And I'm going to show you the easiest way of basically dealing with this pure black, like, NPC guy. Because he can be difficult. I mean, seriously, he can definitely be difficult. So you got to watch out. Alright, so we are going to head over here. Again, you know, just try to run for it. Don't really need to sit here and fight these guys. I mean, at this point with this weapon, though, it will wreck them. Absolutely. So we're going to come this way again, and now we're going to hop down, and I'm definitely going to get the lizards this time. There is another item over there, but I, to be honest with you, every time I've ever went to grab that item, I can never figure out how to get out of there. Like, normally, you have to die or you have to use uh, an arch stone shard to actually get out. There's got to be a way. I'm sure you guys, somebody out there might know, but I, I've never been able to figure that out. So I don't even bother with that item. I don't think it's anything good anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so kill these enemies. There you go. Now, the easiest way to basically go from having pure white status to pure black status for a world is to kill NPCs like this guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually do what he wants us to do. He wants us to show him this dragon bone crusher. So make sure you have this weapon for this. And you want to talk to him, and then you're going to talk to him again. And to be honest with you, is this like, is there a point to this? Not really. You know why? 
he gives you a pure gray stone. And I'm not using that, so it doesn't really matter. But basically, by killing him... Okay, I didn't... I thought he would die faster than that. Oops. Uh, let me be careful here. <laughs> Alright, now I'll murder him. He has to block him, by the way. He has a lot of fire attacks. Alright, there you go. By killing him, that's going to make this world turn into gray. See, that's the thing. And we can pick that up as well. We want this world to now be gray because we're going to go kill ourselves to make the world pure black. And we're going to kill ourselves back at the smithing ground, which is that first little area. So let's come down here. And honestly, the reason is maybe to get the lizard. Why not? And we can hit the thing. Uh, this time, the lizard's seen me. Look at that. Now the lizard wants to see me. Of course. Well, ain't that something. All right, uh, where's the door? Finding the door sometimes can be super annoying. And we need to go to the underground path. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the smithing ground. There is a cliff there. I guess I'll show it once. But there's a cliff there. And you need to kill yourself, I believe, three times. Like, as human. You can always check it. And I'll, actually, I'll show that too. You can always check it by teleporting. Because at first, you're going to be killing yourself, and you're like, wow, it's not changing. Like, if you look, that's gray. So the Smithy Grounds is now gray. And you have to be human and remember to kill when you kill yourself. But first, let's get the lizard. And what I recommend is on your touchpad, you can actually put your eyes on there. So put them on. And we can use one, become human, and run off the cliff. And basically, that's going to, like, you know make this world like go a little bit dark and we're just going to do that over and over again and recover our souls each time but to check it if you want to see your progress just go to the smithing grounds again teleport and you'll notice it will change so right there i don't think it doesn't look like it changed but it did oh he's back okay take him out again awesome give me all of that stuff and where's my souls at see now i can't find my souls Oh, I, I picked them up. Oops, whatever. All right, so I'm going to do this one more time. I want to show you on how you can see that it has changed. And then I'll, I'm will i going to basically cut it ahead. I'm going to do it until it's pure black. I'm also going to show you like what pure black really looks like because that's the thing. All right, so if we teleport again, this time I think it should be like... It's going to be darker for sure. Let's see. Yeah, see how it's darker a little bit? So you know it's working, but two more deaths... And it should be good. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this ahead, guys. And I will be back when I have this world pure black. Alrighty. That is what pure black looks like. You can see, like, how it's glowing. Also, you know you've done it right. You can look across there and you can see that weird-looking thing down there. That's what we're looking for. We're going to go and kill that thing. And then we're going to go kill the black phantom NPC guy. So... To do this right, you want to do it all without having to teleport again. So we're not going to be teleporting anymore because just like how when we killed that NPC guy, it made the world go gray. Well, killing this thing down here is going to make the world go gray. And killing the Black Phantom NPC guy is going to make the world go gray as well. In fact, you can go from pure black to just normal white if you actually do like both of the things. So kind of crazy now we're not actually going to kill technically the black phantom npc guy the reason why is because we're going to knock him off a cliff i'm going to show you exactly how to knock him off easy it's super easy so we can hop on down kill this thing they always die in one hit and what we're trying to grab is that the colorless demon soul we can use that to upgrade like special things now, I'm trying to think, is there anything I'm going to be using that's going to be using Colorless Demon Souls? Probably not. But, you know, you never know. Maybe there's something that you want to, like, upgrade. And if you do, you can upgrade them with those. They're, all, they're only meant for special items, though. Special weapons, special, like, shields, stuff like that. Alright, so now we're just going to run through this area. And, yeah, just basically block, run through, totally. Watch out for the doggies. Alright, so come on over here remember there's a guy hiding there so don't get hit by that same right here he's gonna attack us Let's kill him 
And now we can come up this way. Technically, you could run back and take the shortcut by the blacksmith and take that back up. That could probably save you a little bit of time, but I don't really see the point. So we're just going to basically run over here now. And by the way, another thing about these Black Phantom NPCs is that by killing them, you can actually get some white character tendency. So that's the difference. Like the world tendency changes with this stuff. You can actually see those red Phantom NPCs. Or, well, they're not NPCs. The, the difference is those are enemies. The NPCs are like, you know, that guy we just talked to earlier that we killed. He's like one of the NPCs. But by killing the Black Phantom ones, you actually will get some white character tendency off of that, which actually does buff that, that demon brand sword I have. It buffs it by a ton if you can actually become, like, pure white. But you see, by me killing that guy, that actually made me go a little bit darker. So... That's something to consider. And also, since we're going to be knocking them off the cliff, we're not going to get credit for it, believe it or not. And that's because, basically, ow. That's because you have to actually kill the enemy. You have to kill him by hitting him with either a spell or a sword. Like, or a weapon, I mean. Because if you don't, then it doesn't count. It just doesn't count. Like, it basically will be neutral. So you'll see. And, and this guy, this guy we're about to fight he's super hard okay like he is very hard normally you do want to cheese him somehow you could poison him and just sit there and wait or you can do what i'm going to do and knock him off the cliff and that works great too but if you actually try to fight him he will probably one shot you using like fire spells he's got a couple like he's got this one which is uh it's called a knight and it's basically combustion in the other game and it will one-shot you every time. And it's so annoying because, like, you're trying to fight him. You're trying to get him to swing his weapon. And then all of a sudden, he just, boom, hits you with that and you die. So it's super bad. Now, this is super, super important here. To save, because the, ch the chance of dying to this guy is super high, remember? And you every time, you would have to run back here. Every single time. Unless you touch this. You don't have to teleport, just touch it if you touch it if we die we'll go back to that arch stone and not that other arch stone that would be the big problem all right so we're gonna come on over here just like we did earlier boom now you know these lizards and it's up to you i mean you could try to kill the lizards but uh, that's risky like i wouldn't bother but yeah we're gonna come on over here hop down again walk off the edge and let's now do what we want to do which is we are going to expose kanye and we are going to equip this dragon actually i could have took off the shield too we're going to equip the dragon bone crusher basically we're not it doesn't even matter if you don't have the stats to wield this for some reason which i guess i do but if you don't it doesn't even matter because what we're going to do is we're just going to use this to make him go flying and then we're going to knock him off the cliff with it so I'm going to show you in a second. It's going to be nothing but running attacks. We're going to, every single time he gets up, we're going to do another running attack. So let's run up to him, okay? And you want to get the right angle, but knock him, okay? And then as he's getting up, we're going to again, all right? You see how far he flies? And we can do it again, or he'll we'll miss. Ow! Stop. Chug a lug. Watch out for his spells. All right, but that's good. He's backing up. We just have to try... To keep on him if you can time it right which i'm not timing it right you can basically get him so that he will always uh you can hit him as he's getting up ow let me heal be smart about it watch out for that i hate that spell all right got him in the stupid corner that's not good we don't want him there we might actually kill him to be honest with you can you stop please please Okay. Wow. Idiot. Yeah. All right. Come on, man. Please. Come come out in the open for me. Please. There we go. Not yeah, there we go. Ah, ah. This is not going to plan. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I might actually kill him, to be honest. Like, get him in the... It looks like getting him in that corner over there is kind of cheesy. 
You know what? I think I'm gonna try to just kill him. Wait, put that on. Yeah, I mean, he's totally stuck right now. So if I could keep him there, which I doubt I'll be able to. But this shield does work good against him. Remember, he's got the fire spells. See, so he can bounce off. We can stab him. Okay. And if he does any fire attacks, it don't really matter. So bounce off. Stab him. This works, too. This works good. Stab him. Ow, ow. Maybe a normal R1 would be nice for this, all right? Easier to get him, but it's so much less damage. Come on. Bounce off, stab. All right. Come on. Swing. There we go. Watch out for that combustion. That's the big one. But this shield should be able to block it, no problem. There we go. All right. Well, my strategy didn't really work very good, unfortunately. I got him stuck in that corner. But I've been able to, before in the past, knock him forward. As he gets, like, right as he gets up, knock him again, knock him again, and then basically just have him go flying off the map. But, you know, this shield does work. Now, that's an important item. The Talisman of the Beast, that's a very good item. It lets you cast both uh, Miracles, which is the Faith stuff, and you can cast Magic with it, which is, like, the Sorcery stuff. That stuff is great. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, like I said, I'm going to pretty much clear, I think, all of World 4. And that will be great. And then after that, I need to actually go get... Basically, I have to... There are more things to finish this build. I have to get a new catalyst. I have to get a better buff spell. And it's going to make this build a lot stronger. But right now, the build is super strong. So it should be very easy from this point on. I would appreciate if you guys could like this video for me. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace!